How many? I'll choose six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'll choose the green. Give me five. Give me five. Hey. Five. And now I'll choose eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Red. Today we're going to learn how paper is made. Ah, you're already there. Boys. Hello everyone, welcome to 50 Degrees. Today our show is dedicated to a simple product that we use every day and that has a great history. We're going to learn how paper is made. Today I have the enormous pleasure of being with Philip, John, Peter. We're in Ispira's homestead. This homestead belongs to a Portuguese company that produces the world's best paper. It's here in the nurseries that they make the plants that will grow into trees and are then used in the production of paper. Boys, do you know the name of the tree used for the production of office paper? No. I'll give you a hint. It's a very big, pretty tree that begins with you. Eucalyptus. Good, that's it, John. But how does the tree make paper? That's what we're about to find out. Let's go. Hello, welcome to Spira Zobsted, part of Port Salsopso Group. My name is Paula Guimarães. Hello, Paula. I'm Katerina. This is Philip, Peter and John. And we have a big question. Right, Philip? What was the question you just asked? How does the paper come from the tree? How does the paper come from the tree? Well, to explain that to you, you first have to understand how the tree is made. The eucalyptus tree can be made from the seeds when they germinate, or it can be automatically from mixing parts of other eucalyptus plants. Would you like to see the production method? Let's take a look at what the girl is doing. First, we collect the sprout from Persme Park. And where does this sprout come from, Paula? It comes from Persme's Park, the place full of plants. Mm -hmm. Then we prepare the steak and the plant it on the tray. Interesting. Then we take the steaks to the dark house because they need to be protected from the sun and be watered. And then we'll take them to the timed area to make them stronger so they grow into plants. At the end, those plants are transported to fields where they are planted and grow into eucalyptus forests from which the paper is produced. Do you produce any other plants apart from eucalyptus? Sure, we produce eucalyptus, but also pine, oak, cork, orm and many other species of ornamental trees. Our nurseries produce those plants and we also plant different kinds of plants, because as I told you earlier, our forest is complete and that's why we have to take care of it, keep it strong, healthy and protect from fires that are big threats. How do you prevent or protect the forest? We protect it in many ways, but the most important way is through management. We take care so it doesn't have too many bushes and the control the growth of plants so that they can reach maturity. Do you want to try and grow a plant and help build tomorrow's forest? Of course we do! So, boys, did you enjoy planting eucalyptus? Yes. It was great, wasn't it? What did you name yours? Bobby. Bobby. Sun and ocean. Mine is Joe. Paula, thank you. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. Philip asked me how the paper is made, and I started by explaining how the trees are grown. But now, to better understand the process, you'll have to visit the factory. 
And that's where we're going, aren't we? Bye bye. Bye, Paula. Thank you for everything. When the eucalyptus reaches the paste factory, they're peeled and transformed into tiny bits called pairings. Hello, I'm Sedalia Breu. I know you've been to Espira's homestead planting eucalyptus, but now we'll see what happens to the eucalyptus when they reach the factory. When they reach the factory, the eucalyptus are peeled and cut into tiny bits called pairings. Those pairings are then put into a piece of equipment called a digester, a kind of gigantic pressure cooker where they're cooked at high temperatures with chemical products. Those chemical products are then saved and reused. At the end of the cooking process we have a brown paste, wooden-like, that we call raw paste. Raw paste is sifted, washed and whitened. What's sifted, Sidalia? Sifting is the process of passing it through a sieve to separate the thicker and bigger particles. When the paste is white, it's ready to go to the paper factory, where it's made into paper as we know it. There's also another stage of the process that can occur internally, which is the drying of the paste. This paste is dried, the water is removed, and then it's sent to the market so that other factories can produce other kinds of paper. Sidalia, we're in the control room, aren't we? That's true. This is the control room. From here, we can control everything that is going on inside the machine that produces paper. This is the world's biggest machine for the production of printing paper. It is 200 meters long and 10.4 meters wide. It's the world's biggest machine. It's present here in Portugal and it belongs to the Portocel Soporcel group. The paste that we've seen in the lab is taken from here to the paper factory and it's mixed with water. It comes in a pipeline and it's then mixed with other raw materials. That paste is then sent, after having a good stir, to the machine where the paper is produced. Inside that machine, we remove the water and the paper sheet is formed. That water is reused once again to produce more paper. The paper, when it's ready, is rolled on a big, heavy roll. Just imagine, they weigh up to 80 tons. That's a lot. It's very heavy. When the paper's ready and production is finished, a sample is taken to the lab where we control the paper's quality. We control different parameters, the whitening, the weight, the texture, the opacity and other tests are made on that sample. If everything's all right, the paper goes to the market for the next stage. These machines cut the paper into different shapes. They join 500 sheets into one ream. After the reams have been produced, they're packed in five unit boxes and distributed by truck, ship or train to over a hundred countries all over the world. The paper we've just seen downstairs being cut and reamed is going to be used at home by families and in offices. Here's a surprise for you. Wow! For Katerina, thank you. One for Philip, one for John and one for Peter. Thank you. Sidalia, thank you for everything, for all the explanations you've given us here in the paper factory and I hope to see you again. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. 
We had a paper-filled day and we hope you enjoy the show. Thank you.